working. For this recipe, you will need one pound of ground beef, one pound of ground pork. I have some dry white wine here. That's about half a cup. I have three cheeses. You'll need some mozzarella cheese, some pecorino romano, and some parmesan. I have fresh basil that I just picked from my garden, about four or five garlic cloves, one yellow onion, and then you'll need a small tin of tomato paste, three 28 ounce cans of San Marzano tomatoes, and one pound of rigatoni of your choice. And that's everything. First thing we want to do is mince up four to five cloves of garlic. Medium dice, one yellow onion. For the sweet basil, this is about a quarter of a cup. I've already rinsed it and patted it dry. And then I'm just going to give it a couple cuts through, just giving it a rough chop. I like it rustic like that. Now that's done. Now let's prepare our tomatoes. We're going to open up all three cans of our peeled San Marzanos and place them into a bowl. And while we have the can opener, we can open up the tomato paste, but we're not gonna use that just yet, so put that to the side. Now let's season our tomatoes with some crushed red pepper, some Italian seasoning, and then a couple pinches of sugar. Now get your clean hands in there and start mashing and breaking down all these tomatoes into a nice pulp. You can use your food processor or immersion blender if you want. I didn't want to make any more dishes today and the hands work just fine. So now our tomatoes are done and we can start building our sauce. Now in a large soup pot or Dutch oven on medium low heat, add some extra virgin olive oil and begin sauteing our yellow onion until it becomes translucent. Now add in the minced garlic and saute an additional minute. Add in your two pounds of ground meat. And now continuing to cook over medium low heat, we want to cook the meat about 10 to 12 minutes until it's nicely browned and it's released all of its juices and its grease. As you can see, that's all accumulating at the middle, we can just easily discard that grease and bring the pot back over the burner. We've already seasoned our tomatoes, but we want to make sure to season the meat. I added some salt and some pepper. We'll check again for seasonings when we're done the sauce. At this point, add a whole six ounce can of tomato paste and mix it all around so it's covering all of the meat. Add in the dry white wine and continue cooking for three or four minutes until the wine is mostly all evaporated. Everything is already smelling amazing. We're almost done. We just need to add our tomatoes Mix it through with the meat. Add about three quarters of our fresh basil. We'll save some for garnish at the end. And now all we have to do is put a lid on this and I wanna simmer this on low on my range for about 30 minutes while we prepare the rest of our ingredients. As you can see, I already grated one of the blocks of mozzarella. The other block of mozzarella, we can just cube up that way there's a nice mix of big gooey cube pieces and also the shredded throughout and on top. For the Parmesan and Pecorino, we want about a quarter cup of each. We don't need a ton of these cheeses because a little bit will go a long way. So about like that will be fine. I still have plenty for other recipes. In boiling salted water, we want to add our rigatoni and we want to cook 
for two minutes under what the box suggests. Mine is saying 12 minutes, so I will cook my rigatoni for 10 minutes. Once it's finished, we can drain real well, and then we can add to a bowl to prepare the rest of our baked pasta. We want to start by dressing the noodles. We'll use three or four ladles of the sauce. We don't want the noodles to be swimming, but we just want them nicely covered like that. In a nine by 13 roasting pan, we want to grease it up with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And then we can add a thin layer of sauce on the bottom to start. We will then add a layer of pasta just make sure it's a nice even layer like that. We will then add our cubed mozzarella, some of the Parmesan, some of the Pecorino Romano, another layer of sauce, another layer of pasta, a little more sauce on top, I still had a good amount of meat sauce I can freeze for another day. We want to add the rest of the mozzarella cubes on the very top, along with the rest of the Parmesan and the Pecorino. And then we want to add a nice little blanket of mozzarella cheese, just like that. Bake on 350 degrees for 30 minutes. You can put it under the broiler for three or four minutes at the end like I did to get the cheese all bubbly and the rigatoni all crispy on the edges. Add some fresh basil for garnish at the end and you're ready to serve. Let me know in the comments section if you try this recipe and if you haven't already, leave a like and please consider subscribing and we will see you on the next episode.